So there are two layers of voice. The melody that you would imagine uh, right in front of you without reducing the size of the imagined sound, trying to make it more sharp, but keeping the same sound picture, changing only the distance between you and the sound. So voices doesn't mean that you need to make it more clear and hence more sharp the picture that will affect your muscles you will get some tension in your muscle but keep the same size of the image beautiful it is amazing in your imagination but imagine that you are right in front of it so it's just a little bit uh, more more rich for you and the second layer is the melody that you would choose for your left hand chords somewhere like this layer would be somewhere in between the closest melody and the rest of the chord so if you are not that advanced then just keep the melody forget about voicing anything in the chord but if you want something special just try it uh, so let's talk about what I voiced in my left hand so here is the voicing um, I've chosen for the left hand follow the thumb Let me take a look at this chord and remember. So, in the beginning, thumb. Then I believe G sharp comes uh, into play. Then again, thumb. Then I go switch to the middle voice and go G. Then I come back to C. I'm sorry, I'm playing it's quite bold so you could hear it clearly. And again, thumb, thumb. completely satisfied with my last chord but uh, because I would want to actually voice more even bass something to make it even more helpless um, so that would be the voice by the way according to the voicing you would use your movements so if you go down it would be left if you go up with your voicing somewhere that would be right 